episode three of Veterans Day. And uh, to start out, we got, uh, well, there was a woman, a couple comes by and appearing. I remember this woman from about a month ago. The video's up. I don't, I can't remember which one, but uh, I remember uh, we got into conversation and uh, I asked her what the First Amendment was and she couldn't remember. <laughs> so I guess I went off on her. I uh, did some of my outrageous street theater crap and embarrassed her, but she's brave enough to come back. So I give her that. Hallelujah. You know, so, um, <clears throat> and then another friend comes back that you recognize from the a previous uh, video. Wouldn't exactly call him a friend, but you'll recognize him sure enough. So here we go, episode three, and uh, you know the routine. Look, guys, I'm working my ass off. So if you can show me some love, you know, and visit the store and buy something, I really like that when you do it. I mean, I mean, I like the contributions, but man, I really like when you buy something. I really do. So hopefully, I feel like you're getting some for your money when people see my artworks. I really like that. So do that if you can. And um, spread the word, please, please, please. And, you know, you can see where my subscriptions aren't moving anywhere. They're just sitting right there. So um, please uh, share, you know, share the love. And subscribe again if you've already subscribed. If you haven't, uh, subscribe uh, and do, please. Um, and um, if you like it, you'll like it. So... Here we go. Long video. Have fun. Stand here for a few minutes. You'll find out what goes on. No, you yelled at me. I did? Yeah, because I had a real big brain fart. You asked me what the First Amendment was, and, as, and there was so much... People were yelling and stuff, and I was like, wah! And then I said, oh, shit. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> I yelled at you. That's okay. But the First Amendment, I hold sacrament, you know. Freedom of speech, yes, I know. Yes, I mean, I know. after all, I am the First Amendment. <laughs> yes, you are. I mean, people have been coming up to me today. You know, I love it when people come up to me from places like New York or San Francisco or, you know, and they go, oh, you couldn't do this there. I mean, you know, you'd get, they'd like, kill you, they'd like, blah, blah, burn you down, they'd beat you up. I go, it's not the United States. Then, well, that's it? exactly it. That's I say. I don't want to live in a country. That where you, you got to be afraid to what you say to say anything, yeah. But that's what they're doing now. I mean, look what they attacked Tucker Carlson, you know, with his family. Yes, yes. You got Antifa going out there stopping comedians and speakers yes. and whatnot. That's not what we are. You know? That is not. I would love to have a picture with you. Take a picture. You know? Because, like I said, we were so. I really wasn't contentious because, I, like I said, I had a brain fart. But then it was like everybody got involved. Yeah. So. Well, that's. Okay. Uh, but sometimes, you, you know, you uh, I'm. <laughs> but uh, you know, it, it's, you know, I, I don't, I have to always be on guard out here. Yeah. You know, I always have to be like, because I never, I mean, it's not like there's any walls here. It's like a talk show radio without the walls. So yeah, uh, I have to be on the defensive at all times. But, but I didn't see anybody else doing this, so I figured, well, it's got to be either genius or really stupid. Let me go find <laughs> out. Yeah. And I've been having a ball because I get to meet. I mean, today I've talked to a, a couple of professors. Uh, you got across the board. I never know who I'm going to speak to. Yeah. Like you guys. Yes, we're from Tampa. Yeah. Did we find that out last time? No, we didn't get. Because we didn't, we from, didn't get to that part. <laughs> I'm from I'm from St. Pete. You're kidding me. Oh, yeah. oh, I went to Seminole God. High School. I graduated from oh, St. Oh my yeah. God. Yeah. Indeed. Yeah. That's cool. Uh, yeah. And what do you do there? What do you do there? Uh, I'm retired from uh, Tampa Electric, and uh, I was an iron worker before that. Now he's in real estate. Oh yeah, yeah, I just did. Well, that's a great, that's yeah, a great thing. You're Florida. I could, I love what Johnny Carson said about Florida. It's a home of the newlywed and the nearly dead. Yeah. So that I mean, the real estate's always like. Yeah. <laughs> right. Absolutely. It's a great place to be, and you know, you always yeah. be. That's yeah. always something up for yeah. sale. Something going on. We love yeah. Tampa. Yeah. But Here's a get out of jail free card from Hillary Clinton. <laughs> Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, I enjoy talking to you. Oh, well, thank you. you yeah, thank week. you. I'm glad, we, glad you came back. Oh, you get to keep that. Oh, no, no, no. no. 
on the back is my uh, website. You can go see a lot of the encounters I have out here because I film all a lot of my conversation. Yeah, that's what I am. I'm not a Democrat. Mm -hmm. Just I'm, not, I'm, I'm a registered Republican, but I am pissed. Of course, and I right now I'm my you know I'm obviously always kind yeah. of like right here. Uh, but what's really got my goat now? It's been two years, right? And the only people we've seen go to jail are Manafort, Flynn. I'm with you. All Donald. this money. Yeah. All this. I'm with you. Well, how about you. 2008, 2007, 2008? Yeah, I mean, it goes a long way. Yeah. That's when Waste money. They, you Waste talk about cleaning the swamp. They should have cleaned the friggin' swamp there big time. Well, listen, I wanted a revolution yeah. in Kent State. I was getting, you know, we're going to wait back. Yeah, that. Yeah. That was the biggest part. But, you know, lock her up wasn't a campaign slogan. That's God, well, God him in was, you know, we, we talked about having some accountability here. Right. Because yeah. living this two tier justice system just ain't working. Right. This country, we everybody knows that where that ends up. Yep. So now that, you know, all right, ooh, he's in. Oh, we'll see it now. Yeah. Tick tock, tick tock. And then sessions, you know, tick tock, tick tock. Well, when's he going to get rid of him? When are we going to see this? When are we going to see this? And now, money, 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 and money. now we've got this, so the election, we've got this window of two months. And he got rid of Sessions. He got this other guy in. Now, was that... Now, here's how... Like, piss me off with this. Are we being placated again? Yeah. I mean, when if Trump... When Trump gets back from Europe... Yeah. If we don't immediately start seeing... Some people getting... Busted. Yeah. Get it and done. I mean Stop immediately. It. I'm with you. I'm with you. Then I'm going to start looking sideways at him. Because it's like, you have, I'm, okay. I'm tired of the show. Show me something. Yeah. 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 Tired of the show. Put something out there. Right. Yeah. I mean, it's all. I mean, we can't. We ain't got no more time. Once those maniacs get in charge and, and control of the house, yeah. it's a whole new ball, card game. Right now, and nothing really will get done. Well, not, and I'm a Democrat. Yeah, but yeah. once you have a Democrat and a Republican opposite, they're not going to ever agree on anything. And we're the ones that all. Well, no, actually, we should and we can because yeah, we, we used should. to. Well, yeah. I know, but but then it, it gets to be like a kids' game. Well, I'm not going to do it because you're a Republican. Right. I'm not going to. Well, do that's the way it is now. I mean, what I'm saying is, and it's like, and it, again, this is another. You see, this is now we're getting into my bill there. Yeah. Um, the real powers that be. Yes. The, one, the name we haven't heard recently, the deep state. Yes. The ones that President Kennedy named the shadow government, and then 10 days later they blew his head off. The ones that Eisenhower warned us about in the farewell address. Yeah. The ones that brought down the Twin Towers. The ones that are perpetrating the false flag attacks. George Soros, and this is you familiar with him? Oh, yeah. yeah. And I, this is why I'm having a problem because we're, we're, we're the divide is coming now. And I know, I just say that you have to really question your stance now because sides are being taken. They're being taken because these sides are being drawn. This is how we used to be able to communicate. Yeah. Now we've got groups like Antifa on the left. You don't see that equivalent on the right. I'm out here experiencing firsthand the divide and the attacks I'm getting. Well, people are just yeah. in general pissed off. I think the whole well, no, not no, off. not the left in particular has gone off the scale. But here's a good gauge of this. Okay. Are you familiar with hashtag walk away? No. Oh, no, I think I've heard that, but I'm not. Yeah, you should have heard of it, but they it. they try to hide it. They don't want you to know about it. Okay. Liberal, gay, New Yorker, millennial, during the campaign, started going, you just don't listen to all sides, you know. He's going, you know, what Trump said there just made sense, you know, on, on Twitter or something. But boom! You're a Nazi racist! You're a, a. No, no, no. I'm a liberal New Yorker. I'm, I'm gay. I'm, yeah. you know. Boom! They kept on piling on him. 
And he says, all right, that's it, screw it. So he made this video called Hashtag Walkaway, why I'm walking away from the Democratic Party. Floodgates open up. You can spend hours on YouTube. Listen to hashtag. Well, I've had them out here. Look it hashtag walk away. Why I walked away from the Democratic Party. And I'm telling you, at the end of it, if you're still with the Democratic Party, you got to do some soul searching. Okay. Because the I'm things. I'm going to have a muffaletta now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm starving. Yeah. I'm enjoying you, but I'm starving. I oh, yeah, bless you. I don't want to keep you from a muffaletta. Do not let me get you in between a muffaletta. I enjoy talking to you. All right. God bless you. Happy Veterans Day. Hey, there, folks. Oh, you again. You're not insulting me? I'm a United States Marine Corps veteran. I don't 20, care. That doesn't stop me years. from wanting to insult you. Years. I don't give a crap. Years. That doesn't you give you a card of glance for me not insulting you. you. If you're serve? stupid, you you're going to be stupid. Did you serve? It makes no serve? difference whether I serve. You serve. Whether you're did stupid you serve or not. Your country? No. Okay. Did you serve? You're a fucking coward. In a big belt. Okay. Thank you for the tape, buddy. Thank you for the video. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Thank you for all of your vulgarity. Thank you for your stupidity. Thank you. You're a moron. Uh, these two guys uh, from Minnesota, uh, pro computer programmer, and the other guy works for FEMA and housing inspect inspections. But I say I hit him up on the the hell's going on up there with their elections and they I think just elect they have a big Muslim community up there and just elected a Muslim uh congresswoman who you know what the hell she wore the uh, she draped the Palestinian flag around her. I mean geez, come on man, let's get a clue here, will ya? What the hell happened to your state? <laughs> uh, I mean <laughs> If I think it's Minnesota, who did they do? Who'd you just elect? Oh, I don't know her oh, name, but oh, I know who you are. Oh, yeah. no, no, no. The governor? No, she doesn't care about the governor. She cares about the congresswoman from Somalia. Oh. Yeah, don't you guys have like a huge, uh, you know, Muslim community yeah. up yeah. there? Yeah. And they just elected a Muslim woman to yeah. the, you know. The Congress, yeah. yeah. We'll see how it goes. I, uh, oh, I don't know what to do about it. Uh, yeah, I mean, I've been, you know, I mean, are you familiar with Tommy Robinson? No. All right, it, it, it ties in. This guy's from uh, England, right? They're from uh, Luton. Mm -hmm. And he started reporting on what was how his neighborhood was changing with the influx of the Muslims coming in, mm -hmm. and then how his neighborhood and the city changed, mm -hmm. and then how his country. Well, the powers that be there didn't want people reporting on the street about what how what was going on. Mm -hmm. So they, you know, trumped up a lot of charges on him. They tried to vilify him and vilify him. Well, about three months ago, he's in front of this courthouse talking about a Muslim group ring, a, a gang ring that was going, court case that was going on inside. Cops come along, Tommy, come along with us. Within a matter of hours, he's in jail for 13 months. And because they throw him in a prison with Muslims, mostly Muslim control, he's getting death threat, they solitary confinement, he's eating canned tuna, and he's losing 45 pounds, right? Trump even sent uh, the ambassador and said, no, 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 this ain't working. And so another judge looked at it and let him out. Just recently, they dropped the charges on him. Where was this at? In England. In England, oh. Yeah, yeah but it, it's a mirror on what he's, on what's happening in Minnesota right yeah. now and other communities mm -hmm. where they come in, they take over a community, and then they start enacting their Sharia law. Mm -hmm. It's like they don't assimilate with us, they just wind up taking over. Yeah. And it's just, I mean, it, I mean, I don't, hey look, you want to be Muslim and be American? Mm -hmm. Fine. But that whole Sharia law thing ain't exactly in tune with the Constitution. I swear. Sometimes I listen to myself uh, when I do these videos, I'm, I wonder how many people I make uneasy. 
No wonder no one ever invites me over. To what are you doing, Richmond? Avoid Democrats. <laughs> <laughs> Same as you. No, I actually, I, you know, kind of attract them. I mean, if anything, I'm here trying to, you know, poke them in the eye. I mean, exactly. look at my question, right? Exactly. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah I sell bias parts. Just oh, great. The light. great. Can I tea? Oh, yeah, we don't have enough ID brokers. <laughs> <laughs> As long as I got my job. Oh, yeah, no. Yeah, working, working. Working. Hell, I'm on the computer. Thank you. You know, I wouldn't live without them. That's it. I mean, we, so much has happened in that realm now that it's just changed everything. Everything's been changing now because we've never had this equation in our lives where instant communication. And they're trying to quell that. You know, they don't want us communicating. You used to take days to get offended by something else. You get offended instantly. Oh, yeah. Well, my, my definition of a liberal is anybody that can find a cloud and any silver lining. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, really, what are they bitching about? I mean, they go out of the way to find things to, you know. Yeah, I, I was telling him the other day, I was like, if some, even liberals weren't having Trump got elected, if they look at their lives two years later now, yeah. Like, has your life gotten worse in I mean, any real substantive way? <laughs> and they're talking about inequality, and I'm going, where? I know. What are you talking about, inequality? Where? Where is this racism, you in, in, institutional racism you speak of? Right. Where? I mean, I've been watching, you know, since he announced he was running, and I, I cannot figure out why they say it's racist. I still cannot figure it well, out. Well, it's because, listen, <laughs> it, it, you know, and he said it just the other day. Macron said it today. The fight is nationalism against globalism. We've got the lines drawn, and he's a nationalist. He doesn't go along with this globalist crap. I just said to him the other day, I was like, is there something wrong with putting us first? Like, why is it bad? Yeah. <laughs> well, they've, they've had a war in common sense. They try to tell you, what, what, that's insane. You haven't come except that bad. I mean, it's a war in common sense. Yeah, I've had arguments with liberals. I'm like, I will tolerate anything except intolerance. And I'm like, you don't realize you're the exact thing. That you're the you ones hate. with the Antifa. Oh, yeah. You're the ones attacking, the, you know, our, our our pundits and Tucker Carlson. You're the ones stopping comedians from speaking. You're the ones stopping Ann Coulter. You're the ones that, I mean. I know. I mean, we got to be in secret, you know. <laughs> well, no, I'm not going there. You're not. <laughs> well, none of us should go there. We should not tolerate living in a country where we have to be afraid of our opinion. I mean, what are they get that? They won. Yeah. They I won. I mean, I just try to avoid headaches. But, well, all of us don't want to get hit, but it comes a time the line is drawn. And you have to stand up and say, hey, I'm sorry. I ain't taking this bullshit anymore. I mean, I'm sorry. You don't like it? Guess what? Get away from me. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Live in another country. I mean, when they're walking around, running around now, go, yeah, Antifa going, no borders, no walls, no... Oh, my uh, gosh. Wait, 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 wait. I've had people come out and tell me that flag up there is a symbol of racism and hate. Then go somewhere else where it's not. Yeah. Just, just... <laughs> If that offends you, you should not be here enjoying the benefits of this great country. My answer is to them is, what are you going to do about it? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to do about it? I'm right here. You're going to try to talk me out of a try. You want to try something else? We fought revolutions before. Let's get at it. <laughs> as far as I'm concerned, this is like underbrush. We need to some uh, Thomas Jefferson said it about from time to time the tree of liberty must be watered by the blood of tyrants and patriots. And we have and he said it well, he recommended about every twenty years. We are long over here. <laughs> we need to clean out the underbrush. Yeah, I wish it wouldn't come to that, but I don't know. I don't know. They're just talking such nonsense. It has to come to that. It's just the way it is. Yeah, we would like to have a utopian world. We would like to be able to go ahead and say, yeah, we can work it out. And we have for a long time. Now, again, the equation comes back and we start talking about it. For the first time, we do have instant communication. We do have a means of surpassing propaganda and, and instantly changing the direction of things. So this is new. We don't know where this is really, how this is going to play out. 
So this is sort of like, you know, play as you go, you know, learn as you go. And, but it, if, if, if history kind of repeats itself, uh, but again, this equation has never been there. So hopefully we can limit the bloodshed. But you cannot reason with people that walk around in masks, screaming at you and refuse common sense. And they think they're beating tolerance into you. <laughs> well, we've played it. We've, all, all of our children now, they're being, they're being given access to so much information. They're giving no information on how to deal with it, how to, how to process it. Well, they're just given flood of information like, all right, you're on your own, figure it out. That is another thing, another aspect of this is, you know, people, humans are kind of slow to adapt normally, you know, to changes that happen. It takes us a while. Well, the changes you just brought up and going through, the information, you know, it's going through. Almost overnight. They're trying to process this. And then we're going to get into robotics, AI technology, how, you know, the brain implants. I mean, I was going to get back from a seminar, and they were talking about the the advances to pretty soon it'll be marketed. You have a child. Look at, you know, would you like your child to be a thousand times smarter than it? We got this little grain-sized nanobot chip we can put into it. Only a hundred thousand dollars, but it'll be a thousand times smarter. Well, when a person, because, when a baby, if you think kids are a problem now, we do, oh yeah, let's make them a thousand times smarter. Uh-huh. It would be a short period of time before they're going to go, oh, what do we need them for? Mm-hmm. Elected 15-year-olds as president. Thank you. Thank you. And then, uh, yeah. It's, it, so how do we adapt to this? How do we have, you know, how do you get there? For, and where do we draw the line? Does a person need to cease to be human once you put that chip in their brain? Differently able. Yeah. Disabled. Differently able. Yeah. Uh, this is a good one. Uh, you get you get to meet something I, I've really never met before. It's a how I. So here, how I for you. Oh. <laughs> Hold on, wait, look. Look at back there on the side of one room. Bad. What do you do back there in Atlanta? What do you do? Oh. What do you do in Atlanta? Oh, I'm doing that. Huh? I'm a hotwife. A what? A housewife. A housewife? Yeah. All right. I don't want to deal with the kids. Yeah. I think they got the wrong person. They need to lock his ass up. What would they lock him up for? Because he's a bad man. What did he do that was bad? I don't like him. Put the lowest black unemployment that we have a 400 percent increase, and uh, and you know black small businesses. I mean, should he put in jail for like helping you out? All right, this one's kind of this one's good. This one's good. This clip right here. It starts out with a local couple, and you really get an insight into some of the programming here. Uh, I don't have, you know, I mean, these sites or where these people get their information from are such deep state misinformation programs, trying to put them, it's it's their cue. In other words, that whole cue thing, I didn't ever felt comfortable with it. Uh, I always, I just didn't feel comfortable. You know, it, it just, there was something wrong with it. And proven right, because now all Q's predictions are going by the wayside. Well, the same thing happens on the left, of course. But even more so, I think those people are like really, really steeped in this. And this woman and this couple brings it out. And then right behind them is a family from Honduras who has one of the relatives visiting. And... Um, I really wanted to keep them around some more. I was trying to, you know, be gentle with them so I, they wouldn't feel threatened. And, um, but I really wanted to ask them some more about conditions in Honduras. Because the, uh, the big propaganda now with the left is to say that, you know, the, uh, they're coming up here t- because of a drought and somehow that's our fault and they're suffering and you know climate change and we're supposed to feel guilty and accept everybody in the world that has that's living in third world conditions for some reason or other because we have a they because they have a heart and we don't
that's essentially what I get out of it. Anyway, I couldn't get much out of them other than the fact that they are coming up here mainly for jobs. It really doesn't have much to do. And it's mainly politics and, and jobs. Anyway, let's get to this one. This is a good segment. Come on, man. Oh, it's funny. Oh, man. You guys from here? You got to be from here. Yeah, we are. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's why you see the people from here get it. Yeah, we do. I mean, you get What is Mardi Gras? What is Mardi Gras if it isn't making fun of all these idiots that started out making fun of the powers that be? We have most of them. And not having a, a, a problem with the president. Like, yeah. Just saying, with no, you know, not caring about what, you know, just speaking real. Yeah. I think this is probably one of the few cities I can get away with this. Yeah. <laughs> no, even, I'm just curious. How much does it cost to take pictures with them? I take donations. I, 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 yeah, I, you know, people want to take them for free, then it's all right. I just call them a liberal and they don't care. And then, uh, you know, <laughs> but, you know I, and locals are free. If you want to take a picture, I would like to take a picture. Sure. Yeah. Man. Yeah, so. oh, as pretty as you are in that outfit, come on. Oh, okay. I want to see you in here. Okay. Come on. Okay. Please. You the Let me get a picture of two of you together. Come on. I'm going to get a picture just with Donald first, and then we'll yeah. do another one, all right? <laughs> Why well, now let me ask you, what have you got against the Donald? <laughs> the Donald. Well, give me, give me, give me, give me. A, I'm, I'm not here. Give me an example. I'll <laughs> uh, You see, now this is why I like this discourse. Yeah. Because I, I can, I've got a lot of videos with this. Mm -hmm. And this conversation we just had has been repeated so often. I'm out here and I'm hearing what you're saying, but what I'm hearing is coming from here. It's not coming from you. It's coming from me because I'm a woman. Yeah. And just the thought that I have a daughter and a granddaughter that he could possibly grab or do some sort of like a personal molestation to. So you're more. Moral, you're, it's more about the moral. Well, then then let's bring yeah. up. Let's bring up Wiener. Let's bring up Clinton. Yeah. Let's bring up. I mean, I don't like green. well, understand. Yeah. We're yeah. talking about. I mean, I just today. I mean, you know, we're close to Arkansas, so I had a guy, from, family from Arkansas, a couple from Arkansas, oh. and every time I get from Arkansas, give me a Clinton story. Sure enough, this guy had one. Mm -hmm. And he, well, this has been repeated to me over again. How, how Bill Clinton was just a whoremonger. This guy used to walk around with the naked women on the tie with the whoa, tits blinking and whoa. you know and just I mean he was just totally off the wall, not to mention the rapes he's been accused oh, of. Yes. So you know and her actually she's Well and then that, and then last yeah. week I was speaking to a guy who did detail in the army covering them for three and a half months. Yeah, and he said her door swung, oh, okay. bedroom door was like this, but it was all women. Yeah, it was women. So, mm -hmm. you know, so but when all. you bring up morality mm -hmm. in that sense, what he said about that grabbing thing mm -hmm. was 13 years ago in a candid conversation off right. the record. And it was about a consensual sex but then I found out that he raped a 12 and 13 year old girl in uh, St. Thomas. Who is the proof of that? Branson. Where's the um, proof of that? What's his name? Branson or something like that? Where's the proof of that? If there's proof. Where? You look at, uh, go look at BransonWorld.com and it's documented. I, I, if that were true, it's like an actual if, legal document, and this is what if that were that true, is, that would be all is, over the place. Mueller is going to be presenting to us something within the next few days. That it's not necessarily about the political situation here. It's really about the moral situation, who and who this person is morally. It's not really about. So right, you're uh, more again. You're more yeah. about. It's not substance. It's style. It, it's, no, it's not style. It's just like he has no morals. Neither one of them have any morals. So that's why I'm against both of them. 
Like if they were both But the, the morality has nothing to do with the governorship. I'm looking at the lowest black unemployment in history, 400% no. increase in black uh, uh, small businesses, highest la uh, Latino employment, highest woman employment. That's fine. But this is a man who will come up and grab me and my pussy as a grandma. He would never do that. Uh, how many men do you know that have been divorced and have none of his ex-wives speak bad about him? Well, his ex-wife has said that actually that he raped her while they were married. Ivanka. Again, we're in. Yeah. Yeah. If, if Barack Obama had had three wives, he'd divorced the first one for the second, and the second one for the third, would he have been elected or not? Oh, I think uh, uh, Barack Obama was put in place by the deep state, and he would have gotten in no matter what. He was. I mean, you understand, we haven't really elected a president in a long time since right. Kennedy was probably the last one. And then they blew his brains out because he told the truth about the shadow government. Mm -hmm. He wasn't supposed to be there. Mm -hmm. I mean, remember when it started out, it was either going to be Clinton or Bush. Oh, uh, I mean, you know, the, uh, nobody wanted to hear that crap anymore. Right. We were a revolutionary stage. We not we wanted something different, and he is different. Right. So he got in because of the rage that we were feeling about the two-tier justice system, seeing these people get away with things that we go to jail for. Right. And then he promised prosperity and gave it to us. In about three days, this man is going to be served along with 500 other people with indictments of their criminal actions. One of them will be Clinton. The rock's going. So is this guy. His entire family. So they're all like in cahoots. And I, 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 I'd be willing for you to come back here. Yeah, in two uh, days. Next come week. Back with the pictures of come back up. next week and let's see if that happened. And yeah, then I want happen. your opinion. Yeah. If it doesn't happen, I want your opinion. I think it's going to set the country free. It's time that we got free. Well, well if anything needs we don't to need be. We government. We're grown. We we're, don't need oh, it. Jesus. Okay. Yeah, we don't even need it. Do you sell those, the Ready for Hillary things? Or not? Sure. Yeah. Can I buy one? Yeah, sure. How much is it? Oh, whatever you want to give me. Oh, really? Yeah. I don't have a lot of money with me. Yet. Don't uh, give me a lot of money. Oh, a nice looking family. Where are you guys from? Honduras. Where? Honduras. We are from Honduras. Honduras? I got shipwrecked in Honduras. <laughs> I did. Rotan Island. Oh, in Rotan. Yeah, Rotan. Island. Yeah, uh, I think it's 71 or 72. I spent three and a half months there. What a beautiful place. Yeah, that's a beautiful place. It is. You didn't come up here in the caravan, did you? No. <laughs> no, 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 no. Now, how long are you, are you still in Honduras? No, now? we live here. Yes, her, she's coming to visit. Uh, Wonderful. She, she would like to uh, take a picture with you. Sure. Yeah, and I want to ask you some questions because everything, you know, Honduras is in the news now. Yeah, yeah. You know, so I want to get your opinion on some stuff. Yeah. But I really liked Honduras when I was there. Yeah, it was corrupt as hell, but the people were yeah. great. You know, I really like it. You know, and the best diving in the world, fishing. Yeah. yeah it was beautiful. That's beautiful. It was beautiful. Yes, come take a look. Okay. <laughs> Oh, you're very kind. Now, of course, what's in the news right now is the caravan. Yes, a lot of people come from my country. Now, they say that what's causing this is a, is a drought, that there's a lot, is that... Real is that or is that always? Always is political uh, problem. It's always political. But okay. a lot of people from that that come, they come in, they they know like work. Yeah. yeah, they're just coming here for the work. That's different people, right? Yeah, they just yeah they come here for the work. But a, the problem with that is you got to come in legally. Yes. You know, you guys came. And they can understand that. You came legally. Yeah. How do you feel about this? How do you feel about that? I feel bad because uh, that's our people, right? But that's it. You know, as I say, you, it, it reflects badly on you. Yeah. You're not, you came up the right way. You yeah. did things the right way. <laughs> and, you know, to have these people think they just can come in, it, it, you know, again, it reflects badly on you. But that, it's a shame. And then it drives wages down. Because if people come in low skilled, you know, yes. they compete with Americans. So it does help. It hurt. Yes. And you, in where do you live in Honduras? What, what part? La Ceiba. La Ceiba? Yeah. Oh, I've been there. Oh, yeah, I've been there. Oh, yes. It was nice 
talk with you. Oh, it's a pleasure. <laughs> pleasure. It's a pleasure. God bless you. Oh, he has. Thank bless you very you. much. Okay. Bye-bye. <laughs> There's a good one to end this uh, episode three with some veterans. These are the kind of guys that are nail eaters. You wanted to let this guy loose. He gives his little ditty about what happened when he was over there in Iraq. Conditions that were, some of the restrictions he was on. So, uh, we got one more episode coming up for Veterans Day, and that's going to be a killer, I'll tell you that right now. It's going to end in fantastic fashion. So, thanks for coming. If you like, if you like, if you care, share. Subscribe if you haven't already. Subscribe again if you already have. And contribute any way you can. Thank you very much, and God bless every one of you. Well, you hear what Macron said? Uh -huh. Oh, oh, jeez. Macron gets out there and goes, Nationalism is treason. Why is that? I think we should let them start their own army like they want. And we pull away from them. <laughs> yeah, except the problem with that, I mean, I need U Army is a lot like the UN Army, and they're the biggest crooks running around, those oh, yeah. guys. So, you know, nah, I, it is, I would, one thing he also did say is, you know, because, you know, Macron is a globalist from the get go. And he was talking globalism, you know, how we all need to come by the borders. We're, oh, this is a phrase he used rearrange the borders. Yeah. What does that mean? <laughs> take over, take over. Mexico. I mean, really serious. And because then you got Antifa, you know Antifa, right? Yeah. And all these left-wing people going around, no borders, no walls, no USA. You know, these people are crazy. They are crazy. There's that another guy say, you know, that yeah, we don't need any borders anymore. We're beyond that. What? <laughs> a lot of, a lot of need to go here. Amen to that. Yeah. Amen to that. Hey, sir. Hey. Where are you guys from? California. California. What part? San Diego. San Diego. I used to have spent time on the beaches in Hermosa and Manhattan oh, back yeah. in the day. Nice. And then San Francisco. Nice. Very cool. And I was part of the early free speech movement. Oh, really? Yeah. I'm with I'm Bill and Sandy Love and now. Are you videotaping right now? Absolutely. Okay. Let's take off then. All right. What are you afraid of? I'm not afraid of anything. Hey, hey, it on. Look at this hey. guy. It really is. I'm just going to go get put money in the jar for the reason it says. <laughs> I hate a bulletproof vest like nobody's business, but oh, I'm going to give you some money. Oh, yeah. Well, you kind of look like you're bulletproof, man. I wouldn't want to get you angry. <laughs> Shooting you would just get you mad. That's what Al Qaeda thought. Yeah, I mean, I mean, you know, I'm looking at I'm like, I'm hoping you're on our side. That's what I'm hoping. I was. Where, yeah, I where, was. where are you guys from? Here? Here. Oh, good. Yes, sir. Good. Now, this is awesome, though. So I was like, we got to go support that. Right. A Democrat or Republican piss. You voted for Hillary. I right? like that. Yeah. yeah, sure. Yeah. <laughs> voted, voted for her to go to jail, yeah. Yeah, yeah for real. Jesus, if there's any one thing, I think we got a short window here before these idiots get in Congress. Oh, fuck we that. need to start indicting some people, man. Or at least we held down the Senate, so. Yeah. Well, that's why that was funny. It was like it was like that face you make, and it was like this upset face. It was like when you realize everything you pass has to go through the Senate and the President, because it was like the House. Yeah. Uh, they were like celebrating that in the House. I'm like, you can't do shit with that. Yeah. The Supreme Court's the biggest deal ever. Not even the president. The well, Supreme that's Court's why there's way bigger picture. Not to mention that's... it's a bitch to us from a broken rib. I mean, that's what three that Trump will put into. Yeah. 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 Three justices. You yeah. already got two. That'd be three. This is the funniest thing to me. It's like, you know, guys didn't realize when, like, he was running for president, they were like, you know, you flip the Supreme Court. And they're like, oh, it doesn't matter. Oh, so they didn't off. vote. And it's like, no, no. Two justices out of what? Like, um, I mean, I don't even know. Yeah. I should know. One more is going to make don't. a decided Yeah, no, that's what I was about to say. I, I should know how many it is, but I don't. But I know there's enough there's to get what we want. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, 
and the people were saying, well, why is there anything? He had to wait to get a lot of dead wood out and put some good judges in. Now, if we could just, if we could clone Reagan and bring him back, I'd be great. <laughs> yeah. What do you think? just sucked. When I went to Iraq, I was under Obama. My brother went under Bush. Bush, it was like, my brother and them, they shot whoever had anything. And if they accidentally shot somebody, they carried extra guns. They left their own them when they left. I was in Iraq under Obama, and it was like, we're sending military police out on patrols, and y'all are staying on the base. It's like, wait, no, 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 hold on. That is the one job of military police is to stay on the base. The infantry, our one job is to go out and fuck people up. We got kept on the base. I was like... I'm surprised you didn't order you to wear targets on your backs. I mean, that guy was... Pretty much. Yeah. Pretty much. I mean, we, we literally had briefings with lawyers. On our, we had more ROE than we did CQC. Everybody I'm talking to the military now is going, oh, yes. Oh, yeah. 180 degrees. I'm telling you, I was an infantryman. I went and I was a fire team leader. And Delta Delta Force rolled through our checkpoint every night. They look at me, they're like, you poor bastard. They're like, if we could, if your CEO would let us take you out with us. And I'm like, please. I'm like, I don't even give a fuck if I get shot. Just get me out of this, like, standing around shit. But, okay, I got you. I got you. Okay, okay. 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 All right, guys. Wait here. Let me give you the. Let me give you this. Wait. No, you gotta get a jail free card for you. Yeah. From Hillary Clinton. <laughs> oh, you bastard! <laughs> <laughs> you <can have> that. <laughs>